All right, hello everybody. This is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play the Dungeon of Nahablek, the Amulet of Chaos. Well, as you can see, I'm on the inventory screen because I want to decide to swing by the tavern, and I'm glad I did because it turns out uh, the tavern is now selling major health potions, so I now have everybody's belts loaded with the high quality stuff. And I also changed out gear and Long story short, I got everybody necklaces, well, almost everybody, new necklaces and amulets. So, Dwarf now has the Amulet of the Charging Bull. Elf now has the Ring of the Hippie Queen. Barbarian now has a Ring of the Berserker. The Ogre, I gave the Fibula of Sucker Punching, so he now has improved critical hits. And Wizardess, I gave uh, something. Increase this. Anyway, to make a long story short, too late, we've got some much better gear. We are loaded for bear on healing items. And we've got another one of those activatable statues. And a door that cannot be opened, apparently. I'm sure that there's some purpose to those. And I'll probably puzzle it out later. Much later. At any rate, our goal this time, apart from figuring out what the heck those over doors do, is to go into the temple of the Big Anvil. And find the Big Anvil. And hopefully finally destroy this amulet of chaos that has cursed us. This is the temple of the Big Anvil. By the gods, this place is the stuff of legends! They say it's filled to the brim with incredible treasures the Chaos Dwarves got through plunder! They also say the tormented souls of the Chaos Dwarves kings gather here after their deaths to guard this place. Those Chaos Dwarf kings, do they live long? Don't know. They rarely die of old age. Okay, let's look around for the anvil. Cautiously. Let's loot this place, and then set it on fire! Buddy, that is getting very, very old. Ah, I feel you. Also, to be fair, we haven't really got a chance to set anything on fire. Stop right there, intruders from the top side. Heavens! Thunderation? What the hell is this monster now? I'm the Warden of Runes. And I'm the keeper of the sacred sanctuary. Oh, this sucks. It's an elder spirit of our ancestors. Probably an ancient dwarf blacksmith with terrible powers. Nah, just your typical pickaxe sharpener who wound up here because of a stupid bet. Shit happens? Yeah, I know. It's... damn. I can't make friends with the intruders. You've been warned. Don't tread further or you'll meet dire consequences. Okay, well... Stop right there, intruders from the top side. And we're gonna be in this loop, aren't we? Maybe if we don't just walk right past him. Okay, well, clearly those runes are meant to match up somehow.
anyways, I don't see them actually matching, so yeah. I'd rather be in the woods, surrounded by trees. Well, I'll give them this. They have made this very spooky and atmospheric. Why are we here? Let's see, a tale of chaos. And as a last show of courage, the hero turned his back on his foes and gave them his hairy bottom to behold. The Trogli orcs held their advance. They were terrified by this nightmarish vision. For who gazes upon the abyss, the abyss gazes into. May all of Oryx's steps be witness that only those who follow his steps are worthy of reaching the big anvil. So I guess we have to moon the abyss. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, that seems to go back the way we came. See, so we've got was the solution. Strange. It must be a trap. And sure enough, I can sense a trap over there. There you go. I knew it. There are no accidents. Crom hates riddles, except the riddle of steel. I'm not seeing any of that great treasure that's supposed to await here yet.
You know, we've avoided the traps so far. I'm trying to get to this point. Oh, shoot. Giant spiders. Stop right there and triggers from the top side. This guy again. Yeah, we've already been here. Right before we had to put up with all the spiders. Ah, uh, sorry, it's not often intruders make it this far. I mean, those creepy bugs. Anyway, do you have something else to say? Ah, uh, wait, I'm looking through the rest of my script. What a f***ing amateur. Not very professional. Here, uh, ahem. <clears throat> awesome powers protect the treasures of the Chaos Dwarves. Myriad eyes keep watch, and the Sentinels are ever watchful. Uh, it sounds like a riddle formulated as a warning. Or a warning formulated as a riddle. What does it mean, anyway? Nah, uh, when it comes to the details, I'm a bit fuzzy. I've just been cursed to keep the place. I don't have any say. What a dweeb. Yeah, he's kind of ridiculous. Hey, how dare you insult the ghost of a warden of runes, you dandelion grazer? Wait, uh, you just said that! It's different. It's a cultural thing. Okay. Well, I'm going to go the direction that the spider wasn't. Which dead ends in the middle of a giant forge, so okay, we will go the direction of the giant and undoubtedly poisonous and utterly deadly spiders are going. No way I'm getting out of here alive, oh gods! I'd say he's being paranoid, but he's probably right. waiting for their manes to be combed. Or some cuddly groundhogs. Beware. Curiosity sometimes kills the cat, then burns it to ashes. Well, some bracelets for the priestess. Exactly what I needed. Folks, I'm sorry, I thought for sure that there'd be more immediate damage and peril coming into the Chaos Temple. The 
so far, this has been a fairly typical dungeon crawl. Emphasis on the crawl. Aha, uh -huh, wait. There's something we can loot. Oh, heck. Let's see, we've got Albino Arenas. According to the Monster Manual, these spiders known for their ability to mobilize the target from some distance before injecting their horrible venom contained by their abdomen. Sounds lovely. We've got one, two, three, four. These spiders known for having incredibly powerful forelegs capable of knocking over creatures much bigger than them. And a Spider Master. Battle Majors are filled because of their area of effect spells. So, a whole bunch of spiders. I'm stuck in the middle. I'm going to annihilate you! Goes right! Kena time. And the one that can almost immediately kill is, of course, out of range. Kiala Sonda! Okay, I'll aim for the heels. Of course, they have physical resistance. Oh, damn crawlies! Okay, poison probably won't work, but...
my turn. Anales Fladar. Actually. I can smell the prills swarming around me. Nice! Enforcement's coming. Move it, you're in my way. Ah! Don't stand in my way. <coughs> you can't see me. Toss the dwarf. Almost took that one out in one I shot. Hate spiders. Yeah. 
Yes, that's right. Surround the dwarf. Hmm, I wonder. Can I make it? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, but I didn't get the chance to actually do an attack. Oh, well. Spiders are slippery creatures. And let's go for a one-shot kill. How about I oh. take favor six of your legs? Quite enough hit points to work that, but I can't at least swing a stick around. Well, this probably won't finish him, but. In fact, it'll miss completely. Double slap. Ah, but the second slap missed. But wait. An extra attack.
Haha! Okay, the other one is still standing, but still got most of them. Head boost, Bayoui! Screw that, Sig Sig. Well, still doing pretty well, all things considered. And now, ha ha ha! Well, you plead. Well, now we will find out if spiders can be poisoned or not. <laughs> Actually, a heck of it, we'll just squish them. I see the day again. Of all the times to get a critical. But I'm not complaining. And. Okay, apparently all that one can do is turn around. And I'm webbed in place and can't move. Uh, might as well heal the dwarf. Okay, finally. Beware, they're venomous. And not close enough to do laying on hands. And get it? I think. Yes! That did it! Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. That potion did look weird. <laughs> this potion was not brewed at Milfido's, that's for sure. And in all of that, we got no loot.
Honestly, what's the point of going into a spider-cursed temple if there's no treasure for you to take? I'll supervise the opening. Okay, so a portable toll booth. This small box covered in ruins holds all you need to install a toll booth in any standard mine sized tunnel. I'm almost afraid to think we might need that. And another thing for the priestess, the all knowing eye of prophylaxis. You get them worn by the high priest of the Order of Immaculate Cleanliness, a great tool for looking at a patient's tonsils or to remove an arrow in complete darkness. No batteries needed. Thank you. I'll accept this as a humble homage to my magnificence. Well, yeah, that is much better than what she had. Actually, that doubles all her bonuses. should always note your escape routes on a map. And after all this, it looks like that is the entrance to the place we're trying to get to. Well, we're going on the 40 minute mark. I think I'm going to go ahead and save here. And next time we will be able to face whatever perils are certainly waiting for us at the end of this dungeon uh, with a fresh game. So uh, thank you for watching. I apologize that this 50th chapter was not quite as epic as I thought it was going to be, but uh, we killed some spiders, we had some fun, it's a good old-fashioned dungeon crawl, and I'm quite satisfied with that. Hope you were too. And if you weren't, come back next time. See you then.